I just want to take a moment and talk about HTML and how it's not a programming language. Most of you probably know this, but a few people are confused. It surprises me how surprising it is to some people when I say HTML is not a programming language, and it's not. HTML for the most part is just static text that is rendered through a program. It can be generated by any programming language, and it can be rendered with programming languages, but it itself is not a programming language. It doesn't have while loops, it doesn't have if-then statement, it doesn't have case statements, it doesn't even have variables. There are elements inside HTML that have attributes, and those are kind of sort of like variables, but not really. And in no way do I want to say that I am dissing HTML in any way, because I love HTML. A lot of people dislike HTML for some odd reason. And I think some of that comes from people's dislike of JavaScript and they get HTML and JavaScript mixed up where JavaScript is a programming language, which I'll talk about in a future video. But HTML is just static code for the most part, or static text that is rendered by a code. If you consider HTML a programming language, you have to consider XML a programming language because they're both tag languages. Uh, you can also look at a lot of 3D models, like uh, 3D models, a lot of them are just plain text, you can open up in a text editor and it's just information on how to display those 3D models and then a program displays them. Well, HTML is the same way, it's just plain text. It can be generated with a programming language and it can be read with a programming language, but it itself is not a programming language. And again, I love HTML. I am in no way, uh, you know, trying to make it sound bad. I'm just trying to make it clear. It is not a programming language. I personally, personally love using it as the GUI for any GUI program I make for the most part. If I have a choice between uh, GTK, QD, or was it Tinker or whatever that, that, that Python uses, or yeah, Python? Yeah. Anyway, uh, they, uh, I'm going to choose HTML uh, for many reasons. One, it's just easy to work with because it's plain text. I love things that are plain text. Uh, and yes, there are time and places for other things. But HTML is just so easy to use, regardless of what programming language you're going to use to generate the HTML. Almost everybody already has an HTML renderer on their device or computer, a web browser, or you can create your own or package one with WebKit if you want to display it that way. I think that's a more complicated way and kind of avoids a lot of the reasons why using HTML is good. But all these other ones, I think GTK is great, I think Qt is great, but you have to install them, and they're pretty flexible, they, you know, they're kind of cross-platform, but you have to install them, or HTML, every device is pretty much ready to go, even if you're using a shell, HTML is great. Now, a lot of people might be like, well, I browse the web and web pages don't display properly. Well, now you're getting into, because a lot of those pages require JavaScript to run, which is not necessarily a bad thing, which I'll talk about in a future video. Uh, or they might have CSS that line things up that don't line up right in the shell, but the HTML itself will display fine in a shell when you just have to play in HTML. So, just to wrap up this video, this video is just again to talk about how HTML is not a programming language, but that doesn't make it a bad thing. I love HTML. I think it's great. I think HTML5 has had so many features to HTML that has just made it more useful. And I just thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.